growing up in the early 90s in Toronto, right, the immigrant influx was still happening and, you know, you kind of feel like an outcast. Show you some cool Pokemon stuff. But when you're watching cartoons, it didn't matter. Like that whole boundary is gone, right? It's not like when you're watching Transformers, there are a bunch of machines, like Optimus Prime is a machine, right? It it's wasn't anything or he's not any color or race or anything. He's just Optimus Prime, the leader of the Autobots. Oh, this is really cool. This is uh, Ninja Shows number four. Signed by both Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Ian Summerholder, didn't meet him. That's legendary, I mean, Stan Lee. These are two of my prized possessions. Figurines signed by Jason David Frank himself. Again, there's three connecting covers. I mean, growing up, you related to these characters. So for me, I just felt attached to these characters and, and wanted to be a hero or a leader and those type of things. So that's the way I look at it. Just for you. Just for you, I will attempt to put my big head in this little helmet. Just look at it. Like you grew up with looking at this thing and now you hold it in your hand. Like how cool is that? Okay, let's see if it fits. Oh, dude, I lost weight. Like, how sick is this? Dragons are power. <laughs> well, that's awesome. It fit my head. So we are on our way to one of my favorite comic book places to scope out. Uh, it's called Gotham Central. Uh, the name's very fitting for obvious reasons. Seeing if I can get some couple of Power Ranger comic books. And there's one comic book that I'm looking for, the Ninja Turtles, the last Ronin Lost Year book. And there's one variant that I haven't collected yet that I'm looking forward to getting today. It's Jeff, it's a fun printing, it just looked cool. I've had to take a look at this one. I actually might pick this one up. <laughs> This is a cool book. It's uh, the Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers, but the artist who does it is uh, Mike Del Mundo, and he's doing like Alpha as the robot, like doing like a b-boy fight. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this up. Hey buddy, how's it going? You good? Nice I'm looking for Ninja Turtles Lost Year is the last one. Um, it would be last week? Uh, yeah, last week. I think it was number four that came out. I think it'll be like right around the corner. Yeah, sure. There it is. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. No luck. Didn't find what I was looking for today. But it's okay. It just takes you back to a simpler time. It takes you back to a time where you didn't have to worry about taxes. <laughs> you didn't have to worry about getting a job. You didn't have to worry about dating someone, getting married, having kids or anything like that too. It just, it just makes you feel like, makes you feel uh, maybe a part of yourself that you might have lost, that maybe you want to reconnect with. Maybe it gives you confidence that you're not getting confidence from other places or part of your life right now. 850 right there, that one in the middle, between the 220s. 850 right there. 850 bucks, can you imagine, for a book? When growing up, you didn't think, oh, I wanted to become a lawyer or a CPA. You wanted to become be Superman, you wanted to be Iron Man, you wanted to be Batman, you wanted to be a Ninja Turtle, you wanted to be a Power Ranger, you wanted to be a cop, you wanted to be a firefighter. Where does that, what, what happens then to, to our like childhood innocence, right? And I think people just want to relive certain moments like that.
I think the art of collecting now has given me a new outlet just to make myself feel good. It's given me new friends to connect with um, that also like these certain things. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what's up, big man? It's connected me to old friends that I haven't talked to in years. Check it out. Look at the embroidery on this one. It's cool. It's cool to me. And that's all that matters. I, I like something. I want it because I want it for me. I, I, I look at these things because I like it. I wear the helmet because I want to wear the helmet. I wear the helmet because I want to feel a certain way. I do it because I like it. I do it because it's cool for me.